Hello and welcome back to 3D Drawing Model Railway. In today's lesson we're going to be looking to draw in this area here, finishing off some of the uh, crane lift gear and looking at the uh, spindle on the coil on the um, lifting wire here. So if we look at the photos that we've got, this is the sort of thing we're drawing. We've got this, this drum here that the cable wraps around, this little frame that's going here then then supports this, this gear here. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing this frame here that comes out. So we jump into Fusion, we're going to be working on the crane body here. And let's spin it around so we're looking at the same side as the picture. So on the picture it starts at the top here, works pretty much, looking at this gap here, pretty much horizontal to the roof frame here. So it's going to be coming along this sort of position here. So I'm going to just turn off all the other parts initially and just leave us with the crane body here. I'm going to start with using an offset plane to draw a plane at this point. And I'm going to use just this surface of the roof to be able to bring that down. And Really, it looks like it's drawing two planes there. Don't know why. Let's try that again. Definitely looks like it's drawing two planes at that point. I'm not liking. I don't know what it's doing there. I'm not liking that, so I'm going to come from the bottom upwards. Let's see if it makes any difference. That's also doing it. I don't know if they've made an update to Fusion because that does this now. It just looks weird. So this offset plane, I'm coming from the base here. And I think it's going to be about 11.5, something like that. Now I'm going to go for about 11.5, then we'll be drawing on that, that plane there. Okay, so if we create a sketch looking down, and then we can slice through to get to that point. So the reason I'm slicing through is I need to be able to see both of these sides. Um, one thing that would be useful is if I find another picture from the other side to make sure that if you look at this picture, the frame comes around here. And it would be useful if we have a look at the other side to see whether it does the same. Okay, so look on the other side, it does exactly the same. So that's good. That means we can use this and draw this symmetrically. Okay, so if we look at the picture, what we've got is this looks like it's in line with this frame here. And it splits and goes either side of the plate work at this point here. And then it comes, it's pretty much a straight line up until where we've got the diagonal corner here. So if we look here, essentially what we've got then is the plate's going to sit either side of this frame here, coming in a straight line up until this point here. So I'm going to draw, I think we're going to do a rectangle, and it's going to be that sort of length there. And then we're going to define that corner to match that corner there and that corner that corner there. So these two are going to be the width of this frame. Here. Um, I'm actually going to just drag that a little bit closer. And then we're going to draw some lines. So this is projected point here. I'm going to draw a line that comes back, I think maybe 1.5 millimeters. And I'm going to connect that to that end. I'm going to come out by 0.3 millimetres and back 1.5 millimetres and then diagonally inwards like that just to close that off, define it. Okay, um, I think maybe this 
I'm going to bring this back a little bit. Because you're not going to see behind it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to close this gap up here. Draw a rectangle in there. Because you're not going to see that. I'm not going to bother drawing behind here. Because again, you're not going to see that. So that comes all the way out to this point here. So the side behind. That's going to be 9.2 just to clear that up. Find that so you can see that's 0.653, same width there. So we're going to have this point, this point, and this block here. Okay, so once it's come forward to that point, it then goes diagonally towards the middle and then straightens out where these pulleys are. So the, the midpoint on mine is actually the origin on this point here. That's good, I've measured it, it works fine. And the pulleys actually sit pretty much in line with the front of the body here. Actually, probably do a bit to the side on. So if you've got one there to the side on, do that. No, this one. Okay, so the, yeah, they do stick out slightly on there. Okay, so the pull is going to be sort of in this area here. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line. I don't want to close the gap completely. I do need to have room to get one, two, three pulleys in the middle there. So I'm going to come back to that sort of position now. Find that angle. I'm going to draw it one, six, three just for ease. And the distance or the length that is going to be 8.6. Uh, I'm going to draw forward slightly, I'm going to go one millimeter forwards because it does straighten out. And what width have we got on this? One millimeter. I'm going to draw a line up here on the memory. Line up one mil. Back one mil. And then close that up. Okay, so if I now select all of these pieces that we've just drawn here. Extrude those. I'm going to extrude them as a new body initially. And this image now is from the side on. And I think we're going to go possibly symmetrically. No, too, yeah, symmetrically. So we've got one mil. That's going to be way too big. Not five mil. So we're going to go with something like that. It's a new body, so I don't want it to join initially. So now I've got this body here, and then I'm going to mirror that over. I'm going to mirror that over. So I'm selecting mirror bodies body 5 which is that one and then if we come into construction I think the mid plane was number 4 here yep so I'm going to select my mirror plane to be number 4 and move bodies 5 so we've now got that inside there yes so let's try and add a little bit of detail on that. So if we find side on pictures, it does have a circle here with a pivot point on it. So I'm going to go just back before the mirror just so that when I do mirror it over it will copy the same thing. So I'm going to draw on this little surface here. Find the midpoint on here. Seven mil and it's 
just do flat forwards 1.5 just to give it a little bit of relief. Yep. Any more details to find a better picture, clearer, close up picture. Okay, so we've got another one here. Find the midpoint in those two. Seven point five, and extrude that forwards. One point five for the relief. There's a tiny little one here, I think. Height-wise, symmetrical. If we find the middle point there, I mean, we're going to 0.3, and maybe 0.4 a little bit bigger. Let's find the distance between there. Five. Okay, we're just straighten that north. This area here needs to be circular in fact. So what we can do um, let's go for spin this round. Okay, step on that rear surface. Circle. millimeters um, select all of these in a row files here screw that towards the other side so we can join it lagging Probably a little bit thick at this point, so I might actually just slim this down a little bit. Um, what we can do is come back to sketching the whole arm, edit that sketch. If I just find that midpoint, it's 0 0.5, I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way back like that. Finish the sketch. Easily get that one in there. Okay, so we can actually narrow that up slightly. That needs to have its lost projection, so it's turned yellow because we drew that on the, the end of the arm here. So we just redefine the sketch plane to put this back surface here. We'll then move it back forwards. We will need to look at how far we extruded it, so it only needs to be 1.5 now. There we go. So that just makes it look a little bit thin on that end there. If we just jump to the end now, we've got two sides symmetrical. And we've got the room in the middle here for those three pulleys. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. Okay, so on this side of the chip, we've got this extra extension coming out here that this cable connects to. So we can draw that on before we go any further. We're going to put a sketch on that rear surface and then slice it to get through to it. If we look at the shape, it sort of droops downwards slightly. Okay, we're going to use lines for this uh, on the tangent. Got to go to the midpoint on there, the bottom of the circle. 
So I'll come down It's not that tangent between now and here, let's find that position by that. It's going to create a, an arc. So from there, upwards, which is going to be tangent to those, and then tangent that to that, ooh, that circle. that length so that's now there that is also going to be tangent to that so I'm not like I'm not going to tangent that I'm going to leave that as tangent there We do rectangle, three point rectangle. And this way. So then going to go and look at the sketch that we just created for that. So I want the profile of the rectangle to come a little bit further. little circles on here So the last thing on this arm really to draw are the three pulleys here. So we can pre draw on this surface here. Just a slight pull so that it's easier. Just lay in a little bit. And let's create a circle. Find the midpoint of that circle. About that size, about three millimeters. 
select that. And screw this. We're going to create this as a new body. I'm going to give it a speed of about 0 0.4, 0.5. That surface here, I'm going to create another circle and plug it in another 2.5 is the diameter on that, and then screw that to 0.2 millimeters. Good, so we've got this as a new body. We now mirror that body on the inside face there. That's that fully. We can combine those two. Ways we can do, we can change that. We can either alter this arm so it comes in a little bit, or we can make each of these a little bit wider or put a bit of gap between them, which I think I might do. So if I move this one all the way over, so that. This one, we can edit that feature in the middle there. And that one we can use now. And then that one, we can edit that feature. And then we can snap it in place. Okay, yeah, we've got that. So then, what we can do is if we take that face here. And then extrude that through to that face there. Tell it to join. That should join all of these bodies together. So we've now got body one, which is the main chassis, and sorry, the main cab, and then body five, which is the various pieces. Sounds good. Um, I might leave this as a separate part, just... I'm going to leave it as a separate part in the drawing, because I might print it separately. But what I might also end up doing is combining them and just printing them all as one piece. Um, it will just be a case of seeing how, how it goes and find out what's the easiest way to do that. So initially I'm going to leave them as separate parts. Okay, I'm going to finish that lesson there today and then we'll come back and draw the last bits in here on the next lesson. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. If you have, obviously, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, questions about how you're getting on with your model, then please leave, leave them below or you can contact me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.